I don't even know what I did. I like ping ponged it. I like shot it into one hand and then smacked it back to the other one. It was really bad. I'm such a mess. Anyway. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. I am Andy, thank you so much for being here today. I'm very excited to do one of my favorite things, a haul video from Ulta. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, probably do, if you're watching me beauty tutorials, you probably know a lot about the beauty community, but it is the Ulta 21 days of beauty sale right now. And that is a very bad time for my wallet because I order a lot. Um, luckily, this particular 21 days of beauty, they're offering good stuff, um, but it's a lot of stuff that I already have, like a, a large quantity of backups in, foundations, um, eyebrow pencils, things like that. So I'm not going to buy them this time just because I'm trying to be really um, aware of what I'm purchasing because I know I have a lot of stuff that goes unused and things like that. So I did make this purchase. It is, there are things that I have backups of, um, however, I've never used this particular brand for them. So I was like, you know what? They're on sale. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase them. And we're gonna see how I like them. It happened to also coincide that what I wanted to buy was on a Wednesday. And we know what Wednesdays are at Ulta. They're free gift Wednesdays. So I got a five piece Too Faced set for free. Had to spend $60, literally had $60 in my cart. So after tax, it was like $64. So great deal. Plus I got free gift. And I'm just gonna pull everything out of the box. And then I'll show it to you guys one by one. It's a small haul. Um, like I said, I just pretty much picked up the the day the daily deals, and then I got one of the things that they have on sale for the whole 21 days, and then I got the free gift. So the daily deal was they were doing Bare Minerals concealers for 50% off. So I was unaware that Bare Minerals had concealers. Actually, um, I like Bare Minerals a lot as a company. Uh, my mom uses them and has used them for pretty much my whole life. So she's the one who kind of got me introduced into uh, liking them. I'm not a huge mineral foundation fan. So I, I have a couple of them. I normally use them on top of my liquid foundations as like an extra added color and also to set my foundations. She only uses mineral foundations, so she really loves them for that reason. But they've been really doing a, a really good job of integrating into pressed powders with their eyeshadow palettes you know, obviously other forms of makeup liquids and press things like that. So they've introduced now these concealers, which I decided to pick up two different kinds. Like I said, they were 50% off. I know one was on sale for $11, one was on sale for $12. I don't remember which was which, but I got a cream based one and then I got a liquid one. And I bought two of each because you guys know I have a problem and I have to buy two of each. That's just who I am as a person. So the first one I will go into is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. I got it in the shade light. And of course I was buying online so I was having to kind of guess which color I would need. I, I think I chose pretty well actually. It may be a little darker than I'm used to but with the right foundation I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. And it is just a nice liquid concealer. It smells very chemically. I don't know how to explain it. Almost like when you use like a chem like a um, a makeup or a face wash or a cream that has some sort of acne medicine in it. That it, it has that kind of really strong smell that you know it's like gonna go in there and kill something. I don't know why it smells like that. I don't think it's a bad thing. It just is very pungent. That was one of the first things I noticed about it when I pulled it out. But it does have a really nice fine tipped wand. It reminds me a lot of the. Um, the Ulta concealer that I use to do my eyebrows every day and you guys know that I'm obsessed with that one because it's so affordable and it has like the perfect shaped wand to get in there and help shape my eyebrows. So I'm excited to test this out. I almost tested it out today and then I was like no I'm just gonna do like other stuff. So we didn't we haven't tested it yet. I'm going to at some point I'm sure. Um, I also didn't want to do like a boring video where I just was like okay we're gonna do a first impressions of a concealer. There's the concealer. So like that was part of the decision too. So, but I'm excited to test it out and see how much I like it. The next one I got was the Bare Minerals Bare Pro 16 hour full coverage concealer. This is a cream based concealer. I made that face because they have a flaw here with their packaging. And I don't know how to explain it other than just showing y'all. That's the wrong one. So both of them have slight issues, but one is worse than the other. And the issue originates from the fact that this is literally as far down as it will roll. Do you see how much of that is sticking up? And can you see on camera the issue that I have? The 
it's broken off at the top. And it's broken off at the top, not because Ulta did anything wrong. It's because it literally does not roll down all the way. And so I can see it in the lid. Package it better. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Like, just like, if this tube were just a little longer or honestly, people may disagree with me, but I would personally rather get a little bit less product and have it go all the way down into the tube and not have it be messed up when I open it from the package than have extra product and have the top of it look like it'd be decapitated. I just don't understand. Anywho. Um, it's a very superficial complaint. It does not affect it. I'm not going to call and complain because why would I? It clearly has not been touched by anybody. It's just poor packaging. So I was a little bit like, mm, I don't know about that. Um, but overall, really excited to test them out. Uh, my concealer bag is a tiny one. You guys have seen it and it is slam packed full. So I don't know where these guys are going to go, but, um, we're going to find some room for them. The next thing we got is, God, I hope that didn't break. Oh my God. I just, I don't even know what I did. I like ping ponged it. I like shot it into one hand and then smacked it back to the other one. It was really bad. I'm such a mess. Anyway, where was I at? Oh yes. So Smashbox's whole collection, the, you guys remember from my first haul video when I tried the crystallized shimmer gel and that ish rolled down my hand like a unicorn's tear and it was beautiful and it shattered my world and changed my life. Well, their entire crystallized collection is currently on sale at Ulta for 50% off. And I found that they have a Smashbox plus the Hood Witch Crystallized Cover Shot Crystallized Eye Palette. And you guys know I love their Cover Shots palettes. I have all three of the ones I currently own in my main makeup bag because they are tiny, they're compact, they have great colors, great pigments. And they're so easy to carry because they're not huge and overwhelming taking up space. So I picked this one up and let me tell you, it was so pretty. I actually did a TikTok video about it because it was just so dang pretty. I was like, I can't even resist it. Before I pull it out and show you, let me just like make sure I didn't break it. I didn't break it. We're going good here, guys. All right. So this is the cover. They are literally like raised gemstones. They're so pretty. They are very reflective and gorgeous. They're, it's just absolutely mesmerizing. I opened it up. I was not expecting it. I knew what the colors looked like, but I didn't know what the cover looked like. And I was just like, girl, you fine. So inside, they have a very nice variety. Variety. It was variety and array combined. It's what the word I just made. So a very nice variety. My new word. Can't, don't use it. I coined it. Okay. Not until I get my like official coining stamp on it of uh neutral colors like they are very neutral there's not a lot of like really really intense colors in it um but they have really pretty shimmers and then they've got uh this nice kind of dark bluish gray shimmer which i would say would be the most bold color in the collection it's really pretty it's really neutral in terms of the shading i feel like you can make a really gorgeous several different um eye looks from it and I really have to say, I love Smashbox a lot as a company, and I love what they did here with this. They put a sticker on the mirror, and it says, apply Mystic Opportunity, which is that gray shimmer shade, and Hex Appeal, actually, wait, no, got that wrong. Mystic Opportunity is the gold shimmer, and then Hex Appeal is the gray shimmer, uh, with your finger, not with a brush, for the maximum pigment payoff. I'm personally one of the people who I will never really use my finger. I don't like rubbing palettes for whatever reason. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of swatching. So like that's just one of those things I'm like, I don't want to do that. But I like that they gave us the tip, hey, do this because I would never on my own go, oh, I'm going to use my finger. But because they've told me that this is the best way to get the pigment payoff for it, I will definitely be using my finger at least for the first time I apply it. And if it pays off well, then I will use it that way for the rest of the time I use the palette. So I really appreciate a company that has... Um, a really good understanding of what their products are and what they're supposed to use for and how they're supposed to be used for the full advantage and will give insight to the customers when they purchase the product. So I was really excited about seeing that and I can't wait to do a first impression of that one as well. Finally, that was all I purchased. Um, like I said, uh, the cover shop palette was on sale for 50% off. I think I paid like 14 50 for it. Uh, maybe less maybe 13 50. I can't remember if it was 27 or 29. It was a very good price, whatever I paid for it. But then, because it was the Wednesday deal, I got this Too Faced 
present. It was five pieces of Too Faced product that I got for free for spending $60. It came with a milk chocolate soleil uh, light medium bronzer. You guys know I love those. It is a mini so I can use it. Fell. It's fine. Uh, so I can use it for uh, traveling. And then it came with the... It came with a little mini Rich and Dazzling High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss. The Hangover 3-in-1... Prime Set and Refresh Spray, which I have a couple little samples of that guy. The Damn Girl Mascara and the Hangover Replenishing Face Primer as well. So I got a nice little five piece free set there. That was just for purchasing what I knew I was already going to purchase on Wednesday. It just happened to work out that the the order that I wanted to put in was for Wednesday's deals. So it was all very nice and serendipitous that it worked out well for me. Um, but yeah, so that was this haul. Like I said, it wasn't super huge. There are definitely a couple other days for the 21 Days of Beauty that I'm going to be purchasing at. Um, I haven't quite decided exactly. There's like a couple that I'm kind of like, I could buy something that day or I could not. Uh, like I said, I've been trying to be good just because for the channel and for everything, I've been spending a lot of money on makeup lately. Um, so I've been trying to really limit myself and only buy products that I think are really worthwhile or I'm really gonna like or are going to make good hauls or good product reviews, things like that. I'm sure you'll see plenty more 21 Days of Beauty purchases, but this is the first one just to kick off the 21 Days season. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to our page, uh, please do so. We are really pushing to get that 100 subs in. As soon as we hit 100 subscribers, we're going to do our giveaway. I showed you guys exactly what was going to be given in the giveaway. It's really cool stuff. I really want to give it to somebody. So please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you see when we post all of our videos, including the giveaway video. And uh, yeah, other than that, I hope you guys stay girly, but with a dark twist.